The Nets' defense was inconsistent and unimpressive. But they had just enough star power and just enough shooting to get away with it, and get a 130-123 win over Wobegon Detroit. Brooklyn scored its way to a harder than it should have been victory before 17,559 at Barclays Center. Kevin Durant poured in a game high 41 points with 11 rebounds, while Kyrie Irving, in his second home game of the season, and first winning one, added 24 points. The net shot 55.3% from the floor and 15 of 28 from deep. And they needed every iota of that offense despite facing a sorry Pistons team now tied for the worst record in the NBA. The Nets, 42-36, climbed within two and a half games of idle seventh place Cleveland, and three and a half of both the fifth place Bulls and sixth place Raptors. They pulled a full game ahead of the number nine Hornets. After trailing by 12 points in the second quarter in 62-49 with 3.32 left in the half, a 23-7 run that spanned intermission turned the momentum. And with the score knotted at 108 all with 5 minutes remaining, Durant untied it by sparking a 7-0 run that proved decisive. We have a blueprint, we know we want to be what our identity is, said Andre Drummond who had 14 points and 13 rebounds. Obviously we're a great offensive team, but if we can hang our hat defensively as well, which we are capable of doing, it's gonna be tough for teams each and every night. It wasn't tough enough the past few nights. After the Nets allowed 17 of 32 shooting from deep on Sunday against Charlotte, including 12 of 19 in the second half, they opened this game with similar sieve-like perimeter defense. After taking a quick 8-2 lead on a Durant three-pointer, the Nets watched the Pistons, 20-56, heat up. Or they let Detroit get hot. Isaiah Stewart had 10 points on 4 of 4 shooting midway through the first quarter, including a couple of 3-pointers. The Piston Center came into the night just 6 of 31 from behind the arc this season, and the Nets left him wide open. The second-year big man made them pay, at least early on. By the time Killian Hayes drilled a 25-foot step back with 7.58 left in the half, Detroit led 53-41. The Nets were allowing 62.5% shooting and 9 of 13 from deep. Steve Nash called a timeout and settled his team. The Nets slowly crawled their way back into the game, forcing the Pistons to miss their last four threes of the half and cutting the deficit to 64-58 going into the break. Brooklyn finally put together a couple of stops and came out of the locker room with a 14-3 run. Irving found Bruce Brown for a 3 and 72-67 lead with 9-19 left in the third. The rest of the game was tooth and nail. Detroit retook the lead 101-99 on a Fred Jackson bucket, and a reverse by Cade Cunningham, 34 points, knotted it at 108 all with 5.09 to play. But that's when the Nets ran off seven unanswered points to finally put some daylight between themselves and Detroit. Durant hit a mid-range pull-up, and followed on the next trip down court with a pair of free throws. After a Cunningham miss, Seth Curry, who has been struggling with an ankle injury and was 0 of 4 from deep to that point, finally broke through with a huge three-pointer. It gave the Nets a 7-point lead with 4.01 to play, and they held on to it. Do we have work? 
Do we have things to work on defensively and offensively? Absolutely, Drummond said. So it's trying to build chemistry in such a little time with a big goal in front of us. We have a large goal in front of us. We all know what we're capable of, we know what this can be if we do it, and we're striving for it. So just going in with a sense of urgency each and every night and just trying to make the best of it. We're not going to be perfect, everybody knows that. But if we play hard and give it give it our best, there's no reason why we can't do special things.